So here we're going to look at a specific type of polygons, and these polygons are known uh, are called monotone polygons. So a monotone polygon, uh, or to be more precise, a Y monotone polygon, is a polygon with that has the following property: that if you draw any horizontal line, it intersects the polygon at most twice. So the, this picture is not monotone because if I draw this horizontal line, it intersects the polygon four times as well as this one. So therefore, this is not a monotone polygon. But whereas this picture, it is a monotone, because if you draw any horizontal line, you get at most two intersections. So and we want to claim that every Y monotone polygon can be triangulated in O of n time, which as we saw, I mean, given Chazelle's result, of course, every polygon can be triangulated. But the algorithm that we're going to see for triangulating a Y monotone polygon is actually much simpler and nicer. A Y monotone polygon will have the following properties. We're going to look at this uh, more detail in the exercises, but basically the, the point is that you have you will always have a top point. It's a point where both of its neighbors are lower. So when I look at the neighbors of this point, they'll go downwards. It'll have a bottom where both its neighbors have higher y coordinates than this one, so this is a bottom, that's a top. Um, and the top and the bottom are connected using two chains, a left chain that goes like this all the way down, and a right chain that goes all the way down. So those are the components of a y monotone polygon. And the algorithm is uh, very similar in, in spirit to gram scan. And uh, interestingly, and the reason we don't need n log n time is because, in some sense, these chains are already sorted. If I have the polygon, then the order of the vertices of the polygon already give me two sorted chains, right? We have a, uh, a chain with decreasing y coordinates on the left, another chain with decreasing y coordinates on the right. So, therefore, we can implement this algorithm in linear time because I don't need the extra sorting the order of the vertices around the polygon already gives me a sorted order. And that's the, the main property of the simple polygons, that the vertices of a simple polygon have a particular order to them. And that's why Chazals could manage to triangulate the polygon linear time. And here we're going to use this order in kind of a smart way to triangulate the y monotone polygon. So the basic idea of this triangulation is to start from with one of the chains, make some progress, and once we get stuck, we switch to the other chain, make some progress, once we get stuck, we switch to the other chain, and so on. And of course, if you followed, if you remember the proof for the existence of a triangulation, if we can make any progress, then we can use induction. So here the idea is that we want to make progress as cheaply as possible. So now let's look at the details of this algorithm. Similar to gram scan, um, this will be queue-based algorithm. So in other words, we push the vertices of the polygon into a queue, and then once we are um, when we add things, we can backtrack. But we and we're gonna pop every vertex at most once. So therefore, we get linear time. The first observation we can make is that since both chains are sorted, we can create a sorted order of both chains. Essentially, we can merge this sorted list and this merge uh, sorted list. And if you remember your basic algorithms, if you have two sorted lists, you can merge them in linear time. So we can do this sorting in O of n time, because the two left and right chains are already sorted. So once this, I have a sorted uh, collected, once my vertices are sorted based on y, I could do the following. I look at the topmost point, which will be the top of the, the tip of the polygon, and the second uh, point that is below it. I push them to the priority queue, again, very similar to gram scan. Then starting from the, the third point, I do the, a loop, again, similar to gram scan. Okay. okay, so now let's look at the details of this. So. Um, we have two general cases, right? So I have this case, which means that the next point I'm looking 
is from the same chain as the last point of the queue. So at the beginning, P1 and P2 are the only points of the queue that I have. And in this example, P3 is from the same chain because P2 is from the left chain and P3 is also from the left chain. So we are in this case. And this picture, as we'll see, uh, P2 is the top of the queue and P1 is you know, the one before the top of the top. I guess my notation is a little bit different from Python's notation. Okay, um, how do the what, what do we do next? We push the next point to the queue, right? So now the queue looks like this. This is the top of the queue, one below, two below. Then we check the with the while loop, similar to how the left turn check is done in gram scan. What we want to check instead of left or right turn is the inward turn, whether the last three points turn inside. What this means is that if you're on the left, cha uh, left chain, we have to turn like this. But if you're on the right chain, we have to turn like this. So I guess on the left chain, we have to turn to the left. On the right chain, we have to turn to the right. Okay. And that's what it means to do an inward turn. So in this picture, the two, the last three make an inward turn. So therefore, we can connect them with the line segment. And once we, once we make this connection, this means that now P2 is out. We can just get rid of P2 because it's cut off with a triangle. So we cut P2 off and we delete it from the queue. And now the queue has as a top vertex P3 and P1. Then we continue. So we add the next point to the queue. So now the queue is, this is the top, this is one below, this is two below. And now this last three vertices don't make an inward turn. They turn outside to the outside. So we don't do any popping. Then we add the next one and the next one and all the way up to here. As you can see, the chain is opening up. At this point, once I add the next point, we will, I will have an inward turn. So I will pop this. Um, so the chain will look like this. Okay, so now I have something like this. And now something interesting happened. When I look at the next element, it comes from the other chain, right? So this if a statement no longer holds. So therefore I move to the else case. Okay, so what happens here? So what is this, what is the invariant here? That I have, I have a chain from, in this case, from the left chain that is opening up, that is not turning inside, it's turning outside. And suddenly I see a point from the other chain. Um, since this point is lower than all of them, it also means that there is no other vertex of this right chain between point P1 and this point that I'm considering here, because I'm considering the points based on the decreasing uh, order of the Y coordinates. Since this is the next point, and so far, since all the verses I've seen have been from the left chain, it follows that there is a line segment that connects P1 directly to this next point that I'm considering because it's coming from the other chain. Okay, And now I could use this to make progress. What I can do here is that observe that as this chain is opening up, it's turning outside, and as this point is coming from the other chain, I could make a whole bunch of connections. I could connect this guy to everything, to all the points on this chain. And I could also cut off all these triangles from the polygon. At the, the end result is that the last vertex of the previous chain will now suddenly become the top, the new top of the polygon. This point will become the new, sorry, the, this is gonna become the, uh, the top vertex of the polygon and it will be the inside my list or queue will be the, the one below the top of the queue. This will be the top of the queue, and now the chain uh, that I'm working with is now is the right chain, right? Because as you can see, this is the right chain I'm working with. Okay, so therefore the next vertex that I'm considering is coming from the right chain, and now this is also the right chain. So now these three are from the same chain. So I could make, and so I'm, I'll be back to this uh, case, right? So I'll cut this off, then I'll cut this off. Um, then I'm in this case, 
and then I see the bottom of the Q or sorry bottom vertex of the polygon then I know that I'm done with the triangulation right. and so that's basically how this algorithm works um, the analysis is very straightforward very similar to gram scan every point is added or is added once and therefore it's removed uh, once as well so therefore we touch every point exactly once and uh, it's obviously runs in linear time